so when we are creating reports in power bi it's important to consider the needs of the users designing an accessible experience won't only benefit the end users who may have hearing motor cognitive or visual impairments it also helps all the end users in the organizations so there are many accessibility features in power bi that can help this process the first setting which is related to report accessibility is outside of power bi and within the windows itself so if you are using a version of windows you can set a high contrast theme in the windows and that will automatically be applied to all your reports and once you publish those reports to power bi service then those settings are applicable there as well also in power bi service there is a option where we can select this high contrast theme manually and we will uh, see that once we are in the power bi portal then if we talk about power bi desktop there are certain built in features which are related to accessibility the first feature is keyboard navigation so power bi visuals are all keyboard navigable navigable and the report consumers can walk through the data points in the visuals they can switch between page tabs and they have access to all the interactive capabilities like cross highlighting filtering and slicing so as a report consumer if you are navigating around a report then there is also one thing that shows up which is the focus and this indicates where the user in is in the report so that part of the report is highlighted and depending upon whatever browser you are using the focus mode uh, might appear differently so if you are using one kind of a browser there is a different experience and if uh, you are using another pro browser then there might be a slight difference uh, in the experience the next built in accessibility feature is the compatibility with screen reader so in general all the objects in power bi that can be navigated through a keyboard are also compatible for screen reader so once a report user navigates to a visual on the screen reader it will read out the title the visual type and any all text uh, feature value that is associated with it we are going to look at all text in just a minute the third accessibility feature is the high contrast color so i have already talked about high contrast once we were discussing the windows settings but there are certain guidelines that the report developers need to keep in mind in terms of the accessibility issues that people with uh, with color blindness and other visual impairments face so these are some of the combinations that you should not be using in a report so if you are uh, using a blue color then it is recommended that you should not be uh, using a gray color similarly green and brown combination you should avoid so these are some of the combinations that the report developer should avoid so that the accessibility of reports is better for the people with visual impairments the fourth accessibility feature is the focus mode this feature is available in all the visuals on your canvas so if a report consumer is looking at a visual in a dashboard the consumer can expand the visual by just clicking on the focus mode icon and then the whole visual is uh, displayed on the on the screen so the if there is an issue on looking at a particular visual within the uh, within the canvas then uh, that visual can be expanded and it can be uh, minimized once you are done with uh, looking at that another built in feature is the show data table so for all the visuals on your canvas in power bi there is an option there is an icon on top which shows show data and if you click on that icon then you are out fr from the visual context and in a tabular format so you have a table which is also screen reader friendly and people who have issues looking and focusing on visuals they can have a look at the data which is used to build that visual in a tabular format so these are some of the built in features related to accessibility in power bi reports then there are other features which are configurable and it is up to the report designer to use those features and the first of these features is alt text so i just mentioned alt text here alt text basically means alternative text description 
so a report designer can use all text to describe the appearance and function of the visuals or images on the report page to the screen reader users the report authors should add some kind of an alternative text to every object whether it is a visual or an image that conveys meaningful information on the report and normally this uh, alternative text is static but if the report designer uses conditional formatting along with the dax measures then a dynamic alternative text can also be created another important configurable feature is called tab order so setting the tab order in power bi desktop helps the keyboard users to navigate the report in an order that matches the way the users visually process the report visual so you have the capability to order your visuals in a setting in power bi desktop and then the uh, the reports can be navigated through the through the tab option available on the keyboard so if there are any decorative shapes and images in the report then the user must remove those from the tab order so those are not selected once the tab functionality is enabled another important configurable feature is the ability to add labels and titles to all of the uh, visuals on the power bi canvas another feature that improves accessibility is to add markers so it is a best practice to avoid using color as the only way of conveying information we can add markers that can be used to convey the information which is being conveyed through the colors so that people with accessibility issues can get the meaning of what is being communicated through the visual and lastly as part of the configurable features we have themes contrasts and colors so we have already talked about contrast and colors and what combinations to avoid and we have already seen the themes which are available built in in the power bi reports and how we can create our own custom themes so now let's go to power bi desktop and a power bi service to see where these most of these options are located and how we can use these so here i am in power bi desktop and i have opened the northwind dataset demo so power bi designers who have been working with power bi they are familiar with report titles they are uh, familiar with report labels they are also familiar with the use of markers but there are a few accessibility options that we just uh, like to have a look at so the accessibility features we, that we talked about the first of those is the focus mode so if you hover on the header icon area you have the focus mode icon here so if i click on this focus mode what will happen is that the visual now covers my whole canvas and gives a better readability experience so if i want to go back i can click on back to report and i will go back to my original view another accessibility feature is show as table so for that you need to click on these three dots and there is an option which says show as a table so if i click on this it again opens up the original visual and the data that was that was needed to create this visual is shown just below the visual and that is uh, the data shown in this table so if you have a more complex visual you will have um, i think more columns or maybe more rows as well so the accessibility feature improves for people who have problems focusing on this kind of a visual but they are accustomed to seeing data in tabular form so this feature is a uh, very useful for people with those kind of disabilities next is the alt text or the alternative text that is that works with the screen readers so if i want to add the alternative text for this particular visual i'll need to go into the formatting option here and within the general option there is this alt text Uh, option available and here it says that enter a description that will be read by a screen reader on selecting the visual and this fx or the conditional formatting icon it allows us to you know in in uh, combination with the tax measures it allows us to create dynamic alternative text that is, that can be read by the screen reader and the last option that we talked about was the tab order so if i click on this view option here then there is this 
uh, selection pane and if I click on that we get the this new pane opens up where there is a layer order and then there is this tab order which says that choose the way people tap through your report elements and hear them read by a screen reader. So the report user can work with the tab key on the keyboard and then here to the uh, things which are read out by the screen reader. So instead of using the mouse, the navigation experience is uh, can be controlled through the tab key on the keyboard. So here on the tab order, I can change the tab order and I can place the uh, the visuals in an order that I want my uh, visuals to you know uh, for the ease of my navigation so these are some of the options on power bi desktop so just one option we need to see on power bi service which is related to high contrast so let's go on power bi service and see where that option is so i am inside my power bi demos workspace and i'll be using the same northwind dataset demo report uh, file so i'll click on this report and if I click on the edit option here, it is going to take me to another view and here in under the view option, there is this high contrast colors. So if I click here, it gives me four options and let me just click on high contrast one and here you can see that there is this layout which now works with a high contrast. So these are some of the options that are related to accessibility and we talked about those in detail and had a look of some of those options in Power BI Desktop and Power BI Service.